They are the tech robber barons of the modern economy. They have monopolistic power in many ways over the American economy and increasingly the global economy. I think NVIDIA is almost a, a case unto itself at this point. Um, you know, NVIDIA's degree of monopoly over the market for these advanced AI chips is especially strong. Uh, I think something that's less appreciated is, in, in a lot of ways, it's not so much that their chips are technologically superior as that they have the sort of accompanying software and connection and so forth that, um, you know, they've come to dominate. And there are certainly many allegations that they are leveraging their strength in one to sort of force adoption of another. Um, and, and what you're now seeing is them try to translate that into quite overt political power. Mm -hmm. um, the way that NVIDIA has, has tried to push, particularly its ability to sell chips in China, uh, is, is fairly unprecedented in Washington, even for a scene that everyone assumes is dominated by lobbyists and bad faith this and that. I, NVIDIA has really set a new mark for... Um, talking out of both sides of their mouth, making clearly self-contradictory statements, making bizarre accusations, allegations, very personal attacks, um, all oriented toward we must sell chips in China, which mm. is not in the American interest. And to your point, has, has been a real challenge then to the Trump administration and, and Trump ideology.